Hey Siri, spell aubergine. Aubergine. A U B E R G I N E. Hey guys, how's it going? Dan here from Hemp Tech, and today I am really excited because I have just got myself this. No, it's not an empty box. This should be, yeah, the new MacBook Pro 15 inch. Ooh, thank you. I have been wanting one of these for a very long time. I just thought, just treat yourself now. This looks amazing. Right, let's open her up. My trusty knife again. So scared. God, I'm so nervous. I can't even cut a bit of bloody cellar thing. There we go, that should be enough. I really don't think any other company give you this feeling of unboxing that like Apple do. It's amazing. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. I'll open it up. Guys, the 15 inch MacBook Pro touch bar, space gray. Okay, here we go. Feels really nice, it's nice and light. Looks good, you can see it there. Nice and shiny, I'll put this over here for a sec. Right, I'll do the usual, what else comes in the box, here we go. You get, the charging cable, the battery packs, and the usual stickers and stuff. Now for the good bit, taking out the cellophane. Put this away. Okay, here we go. Unwrap this. Satisfying. Here we go. And there it is. Oh, this is so pretty. So, I've had this laptop now for two weeks. I've been using it every day for things like video editing, making PowerPoints, checking mail, going on the internet, etc. Here's a list of some of the pros and cons I've found so far. So, let's start with the pros. The build quality on this thing is absolutely fantastic. It's best in its class. And if you look at any other review on all laptops in the similar price bracket, they all say that this is the best. The anodized aluminium feels really good. It feels like a premium product. I love the Touch ID feature in the corner. It's great to be able to use for making purchases and to unlock the Mac. The thing I love even more is that my Apple Watch unlocks it when I get close enough to it, which is something I didn't realize until I got it. This was a lovely little surprise. This is the trackpad king. Look at the size of this thing. It's huge, it's bigger than my iPhone 7. Some people have been hating on it, saying that it's too big and they've been leaning on it and things like that when they're typing, but I love it. For things like video editing, it's great. The Taptic Engine and the Force Touch work really well. It's also really good for gaming. 
A little tip is to have the sensor E up high. It's hard to get used to at first, but it's totally worth it when you do. The screen on this thing is beautiful. It's not quite the 4K screen that you get with arguably its biggest Windows competitor, the XPS 15, but when it comes to brightness, it beats it by a mile with 500 nits compared to the XPS 15's 380. The Thunderbolt 3 ports are crazy powerful with 40 gigabytes per second transfer rate. They can even support two 5K monitors and you can charge from any of them. Siri on a MacBook Pro works flawlessly with lots of applications. However, I do forget I have it sometimes. I use it every now and again to open the odd app or how to spell certain difficult words like aubergine or diarrhea. You can imagine the kind of sentences I've been writing lately. Ooh. Hey Siri, spell aubergine. Aubergine. A U B E R G I N E. Open PowerPoint. I've really been enjoying using Picture on Picture where I can have a YouTube video playing in the background or in the corner while I'm doing work. It's quite a nice feature and I think a lot of people will benefit from it. The keyboard took some getting used to as the second generation butterfly keys are very shallow. However, it didn't take long and now I love using it. Now I just need to learn how to use my other eight fingers to type. This next pro is something I don't hear many people talking about and it's the resale price of Macs. People are quick to judge and say that they're very expensive and overpriced, but what they don't realize is that the resale value is absolutely fantastic. In 2014, I had a 15 inch MacBook Pro. I had it for about six months and sold it just because I wasn't really using it to its potential. The odd PowerPoint on photosynthesis doesn't warrant a 1500 pound MacBook. When it comes to selling it, I actually made money on it. Being a teacher, I get 14% discount at Apple, or at least I did get 14%. I think it's dropped to 10 now. But at that time, it was 14%. I bought it, used it for six months, sold it, and actually made money. The last pro on this list is the touch bar. I've been using it mostly in iMovie to split videos. I love the precision that you can get with it. I've also been using it to flip through emojis, photos, and it's been great. I also love the autofill feature that you get. If you've got to fill in a tedious form on the internet, you literally just tap away and it fills in your name, your email, date of birth, things like that. I've used it for an insurance quote. If you've ever done that, you know how big these forms can be and I flew through it, so it's really useful. We've seen some pros, now let's check out some cons. Now I'm gonna start where I left off with the last clip, which is the touch bar. It's a cool feature, but I don't really think it adds anything. Yes, it's nice being able to flip through pictures and emojis, but it doesn't make things any quicker. My favorites on the internet looks great, but it's just as quick to click on the site using my mouse than the touch bar. Common emojis are there straight away, but if you want to send someone an aubergine or a non-offensive multiracial Santa, you'll be scrolling for ages. Personally, I think it may be a bit of a gimmick and doesn't warrant the high price point. It's only equipped with USB-C Thunderbolt 3 ports, so it won't work with anything that's a normal USB, like a memory stick. This means Apple will be cashing in massively with dongles, etc. Now, USB-C is the future due to its small size, reversible shape, and its increase in data transfer, but for now, I personally recommend the must-have accessory for the new MacBooks, the Satachi Type-C USB 3. FYI, if you want one in space grey, you're going to be spending an extra £10 and be waiting a few weeks. There's no MagSafe charging, which was a great feature of old Macs and stopped them from being pulled off of tables accidentally. The Apple logo no longer lights up. Uh. The battery life isn't particularly good. I'm getting five to six hours normal use. And when I'm video editing, I'm lucky if I get three hours. The next one is a big no-no for a lot of people as it cannot be upgraded at all. This puts a lot of consumers off, particularly gamers that like to upgrade their setups. Last but not least, it wouldn't be an Apple review if I didn't mention this, and it is of course the cost. The 15 inch base model starts at 2,350 pounds and goes up to 2,700. And if you want to fully load it, it's gonna cost you over 4,000 pounds. Well, however, do not despair. Apple prices do not drop in any stores. Lately, however, places like Curry's have been doing 10% off and Laptops Direct have the base model from 2,350 pounds to just 2,100. That combined with the 2.3% you can get back from top cashback and you can get yourself a pretty decent deal. If you guys aren't sure what top cashback is, just leave it in the comments below and I can do a video on how you can get money back from buying tech. So, who is this laptop for? 
Overall, I'd say it's for heavy users. It's a lot of money to be spending for the odd browse of Facebook or to save a couple of photos. People that are film editing or making music are gonna love this. The built-in apps iMovie and GarageBand are great and you can buy other apps that are even better. One of the things that makes it such a pleasure to use is this massive touchpad that I've mentioned previously. I have loved using this so far to edit my videos and would highly recommend it. One of the main reasons for purchasing this laptop is if you're in the Apple ecosystem. If like me, you have an iPhone, an iPad, Apple Watch, AirPods, Apple TV, you've got Apple Music, you're gonna love how seamlessly they work together. It's a great feeling starting something at work on my iPad, coming home and it's there on my MacBook ready to continue. My watch open in my MacBook and my AirPods connecting seamlessly so I can listen to the playlist that I made earlier on my iPhone on Apple Music. It's also really handy having iMessage there on your MacBook so that you can text people in between doing bits of work. And using Touch ID to make purchases is awesome. Yes, it's expensive. Yes, other laptops may have better specs, but you're paying for a premium product. You're paying for the combination of performance, design and build quality that make it a joy to use day to day. A Nissan Qashqai is a great car and will get you and your family from A to B safely, securely and comfortably. But if you have the opportunity, a Range Rover is going to get you from A to B with a much bigger smile on your face. So guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out the Hemp Tech Instagram page, hemp underscore tech. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Peace.